felon circuit here. This month, I tried to limit down the actual number of records I was using, and I got it down to four. I ended up only using samples from three of them. However, I had so much stuff and so many good ideas that I ended up having to break it into two, so I made two beats. So we're just going to go through the sampling process and the way I sifted through everything uh, in this video. So the four records that I used were a funk record from the 70s, a new age compilation record, a weird jazz, experimental jazz thing, and then a glossy 80s pop record that I ended up not using at all. So I'm going to do two beat breakdown videos, one for each of the beats, and those will be up soon. If you've been enjoying this content, please subscribe and share with your friends. I appreciate all the support that I have gotten so far. Let's just try to share it out and make it a bigger thing. Also, questions, comments, things you'd like me to cover, let me know. It's uh, going out with my light. Poltergeist. Pardon the flickering lights. Would anyone be interested in me putting together a sample pack of field recordings, weird loops that I've made, ambient noise, drum sounds? It's just, it would be a hodgepodge and uh, I have a whole lot of things and I would be happy to do that if there's enough interest. So let me know, drop a link. As always, the beats will be on my SoundCloud account, link in the description, and thanks again, let's get into it. And that's how you don't set up your camera tripod. Really, there's not uh, a lot to get out of 1981 mainstream R&B 